Hello, this is Steve from Beto's Leatherworks, and today's projects are the 100K giveaway repairs, restorations, whatever you want to call them. The first one is a pair of boots. We're going to do Virum soles on them. The second one is an Allen Edmonds. We're going to do blue on this soles. The third one, pair of boots, Justin boots. I believe they're Justin boots. I could be wrong. Dingo boots. Not Justin, Dingo. We're going to do the Vibram Western sole on that one. Now, there was a fourth pair that I never received in. And, um, I mean, you know, the offer is still open anytime the customer wants to send it in. I have corresponded back with them with an email. I just literally did it this so I didn't I haven't gotten a response just yet um, the fifth one is a bag that we're going to be stitching up I'll show you guys that a little bit later all right let's get started on that man wow look at this thing there's screws in here that's why it wouldn't come off screws really huh. okay oh lordy lordy lord Now the midsole is shot on this pair of boots, so we're going to replace the midsoles. There's a sole, a midsole, and a welt. The welt is in good shape. Even though it's plastic, it's in good shape. We're going to keep that the way it is. This rubber has literally dry right it looks like. So you shouldn't be breaking apart like that very easily. But it's okay. It's in the right place. We'll take care of that. All right, let's continue. Now on this pair of boots, the rand was broken, heel rand. Basically, there's a small piece that's in the back of the heel. If I can get into the camera. And as you guys can see, it's just kind of falling apart. We cut a piece of leather. We're going to put it right there. The midsole is going to come and then the outsole is going to be on top. Okay. Now, we, we dyed the edges here because it's easier when this is on like this. You see, it's there's no light color inside there. So you won't have to come back and and try to ink, ink it right in the, between the uppers and the, and the heel rand there. So that's why we color that first, so that's a lot easier for the end. Also on this plastic welt, all-purpose cement doesn't hold very well. So we take a little bit of super glue, thinly apply it on top of that plastic like a primer, let that dry, then put our um, master's all-purpose cement on top, heat that up, and then press it together. It holds very well. All right, let's continue. All right, so while that sole is drying, we're going to start tearing these apart. These are the Allen Edmonds Numux, N-E-N-U-E. 
N E U M O K. This is kind of a cool shoe. Now the uppers, it's like an oil tan leather, Chrome XL, I believe it's called, but it's got like an antique-ish look to it, you know? And um, you can't really put, you can't really put too much polish on there because it has light color threads. So these are navy blue. I think they're navy blue, I think they are. So you can't really put navy blue on there because you have light color threads. So what we normally do after we clean it down, we'll clean it down with a little bit of maybe rubbing alcohol or some thinner. We'll apply a little bit of blue with the fingers around these areas here. Okay, let that sit for a minute. And then apply conditioners, neutral conditioners throughout the whole shoe. That way it doesn't affect the thread color. Because that's the kind of signature of the of the shoe, you know, that light color thread on the uppers. And you don't want to, you don't want to darken that up because you're going to ruin the shoes. Look at that. All right. Sometimes these are in good shape, but I'll take that part of the cork out, the foot part right here, replace that. I'm going to leave the shank area. It's in pretty good shape. It's in very good shape, actually. Not bad, not bad. I think with um, I think with blue soles, I mean, yeah, with the blue soles, it's gonna really pop. That look nice. Bam! I don't know what happened to that uh, fourth pair. That was coming from Norway, I think. I think. And uh, it, it never never got here. And um, I just happened to notice that the fifth item wasn't here. And I emailed the guy. So we'll see what happens. We can always do another video on that at a later date. No problem. You know, I just realized something that these are all rubber sole shoes that I'm working on today. Interesting. No JR soles. I was going to put a little stamp on the bottom of the sole, like a 100K winner, but I can't really do that with, with the rubber soles. Hmm. Well, we'll have to figure something out. All right, let's continue. Let me show you guys something here. This tool here, we use this to take the stitches out on the welt. Okay? But not all shoes, you can use this. Most of the time um, on the Allen Edmonds, the stitches are kind of sitting on top of the welt it's easier to remove but sometimes when they're kind of deep in you got to hand pick it so this one is going to be a little easier all right let me show you now you can rub your hand on it it's not going to hurt but you can't you know you can't push it obviously you got to be kind of gentle a little bit and that's it the ones that don't come out you just take them out with your with your little uh, nippers this makes the job so much faster rather than sitting there picking the stitches one at a time, which is a time consuming job. <laughs> and that's it. But you gotta be careful though. The welt, sometimes it could be in bad shape. You don't wanna ruin it by doing that. So 
not all the uh, not all shoes you can be able to do that to. All right, let's continue. Now this one's got a funny little story. You know, um, I belong to a shoe repair group on Facebook. It's called um, Shoe Repair International. Okay, just a little group we got together to kind of um, get all the cobblers around the world together to have a little forum to talk about work and questions about, you know, repairs, all sorts of things like that. Now, I have a friend of mine in Jaro, UK, okay? I guess Jaro is the town, J-A-R-J. A R R O W, if I'm not mistaken. And you know, sometimes we talk. And um, he was telling me how he's got a customer that came into his shop that uh, he saw my videos and he was really a big fan. Oh, the shop is called Davies and Sons Shoe Repair. Sorry, I neglected to say that. Davies and Sons. Alan is the father's name. Anyway, Alan was telling me, yeah, I, I one of my customers, you know, knows more about you than I do, and he's a big fan. Blah blah blah. You know, we talked for a little while, and uh, fast forward on my. 100,000 giveaway video. Well, wouldn't you know it? These are that customer's boots. The guy entered my contest, and I happened to pick his name out. Unbelievable. Alan couldn't believe it. I'm like, yeah, dude, I can't believe that. You were telling me about this customer not too long ago, and now he won the contest. I'm gonna repair his boots. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So small world. Customer's name is Omar. Omar, how are you? These are your boots, tearing them apart. These are not bad boots. It's got, let's see, <coughs> one of the heel, one of the heel layers was fiberboard, which is paper. The midsole is, is paper, it's fiber, fiberboard. Okay, not good. <coughs> yeah, some, some stuck in my throat. So I thought it was really, really cool that one of Alan's customers, who's a big fan, won the contest. It's really neat. So, we're gonna put leather midsoles on here. And we're going to, and we're going to put the Honey Color Vibram 100 sole. I think it's gonna look nice. All right, let's continue. You all know what time it is. Come on now, you gotta know after all these years you've been watching me. Damn it, time. <laughs> oh, Lordy, 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 Lordy. <clears throat> Beautiful. Man, it's just gonna pop when they get done. I like them. You know what I just thought of? Maybe we can add blue laces with that. You know what? We're gonna do that. That's it. We'll keep his uh, tan laces that he had in there. And we're gonna put blue laces on there. Yes, sir. All right, while we're hammering, let's do another hammer time. 
All right, so these are about right there. Make sure that logo is on the center. Somewhat center. <clears throat> Guys, see that heel rand? Yes, sir. Look, my locking bolt is still working. No squeaking. Sorry, you guys are here for the squeaking. You might as well turn me off. All right, enough of hammering. Let's continue. All right, we've got the cork bed in. We picked the stitches. As you guys saw that this one didn't work with the machine I used earlier, I had to hand pick it, hand pick the stitches. This is the midsole we're gonna use. It's moving. Got to lock her in again. Ah, she is locked. My hammer is scarred. It's marked. I have to sand that because it's leaving marks on the midsole here, which is okay. It's a midsole. And look, I should say, listen, no more squeaking. <laughs> so smooth man like butter <laughs> yeah little things in life that bring me joy Right, we're gonna sand this down, stitch it, put the sole on, and we're gonna finish it up. Let's continue.
work the soles down with a little bit thinner <clears throat> just so we clean that surface this is going to be a glue on construction no stitches involved so we want to make sure that we got a nice bond to the midsole we're going to let this dry we're going to put another coat on Notice I'm not touching the, the surface of the sole because you don't want to contaminate with the dirt and the oils. I mean, it's not much, but you know, you just got to be careful because sometimes if there's a slight bit of air pocket left in there, it doesn't hold very well and over time it'll come loose. And this one is not a walk-in customer where I can tell the customer, hey, you know what, bring it back, I'll, you know, glue it back up. It's a little, uh, he's a little across the pond, I'd say. Guess if he's got an issue, I can always uh, tell him to go to Alan, and uh, I'm sure Alan can set him up. But he's not going to have any issues. All right, let's continue. This week we were supposed to be closed, Thanksgiving week. And I was going to remodel the shop a little bit. Move some shelves around, take some walls down, and just kind of reorganize. A friend of mine's shop, um, he had to close down and um, went and bought everything out that he had. Some equipment, some supplies. Most of the supplies I didn't need, I gave it away to my friends. And um, unfortunately, the machinery is sitting on my trailer, covered up. That's what I was going to bring in this week. But I'm, my, my, back, my work is just a little backlogged right now. And I've got to finish this before I even think about spending the time remodeling shop. But it's got to happen. Got to bring those machinery inside and uh, reorganize in here. Alrighty. So the back is nice and nailed. Put the heel base on, secure from inside, sand the edges, clean, polish it up, and we're ready to go. Let's continue. All right, let me show you guys what we got here. There's two parts of this machine. This is the press that presses the soles to the shoe. This is the pneumatic nailer, which nails from inside of the shoe. So when we press on the pedal, this is what happens. Look right there. So those little holes are filled with nails. When you press on the pedal, it drives the nails right into the heel block of the boots. So let's fill that up. Now this was... Uh, we used to do every uh, nailing by hand, basically. There is another machine, it's a heel wheel. That's a manual, that's a manual nailer. This comes in handy actually. All right, we'll put this right in there. Make sure that heel is in the proper position. I've got a little glue holding the base onto the boot. Okay, tighten that down, And voila, it nailed it on there. All right, let's continue. This is thinner, by the way, just to kind of lightly clean the surface. Now this is a corrected grain leather, which is not the best quality leather. 
so there's only so much you can do with it but I think a little bit of polish and conditioning will help yes I wear gloves you wouldn't be able to tell by my dirty hands but I do wear gloves I got a bunch of gloves but like a nylon gloves but I like this one the best because what happens is that every time I need to remove it, it's easy to remove. Okay. You can use this so many times. These are where I've sanded my knuckles off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it happens. All right, let's continue. This is Bic More I'm putting on. Bic More, Bic Four. Just a conditioner. And then we buff it on the machine. She getting there. Let's continue. Mm -hmm. Basically similar similar process. Just wipe it down. All right, let's continue. Okay, so we've got navy blue cream. Okay, now obviously it's way way too dark. So we're gonna take a little bit of leather conditioner and some navy blue. Going to mix it up a little bit, okay? Again, I was remember I was telling you guys not to, not to touch the the thread. I know these are cool shoes, but they're a pain in the butt to keep the color on them they tend to get a little light over time it's just the nature of the leather that's all it's not bad it's just how it is so if you have a pair of these and it takes a little bit of you know bringing them back it's a little uh little polish, little big four mixed together and just kind of get in between the seams. Okay, maybe darken that toe a little bit more. He had it darker. Okay, once you got that throughout the shoe, then you can attack the whole shoe with, with conditioner. This way you have the uppers and you see the stitches are still light okay all right let's continue and we've got corner issues so basically what we're going to do is turn the bag inside out and restitch this all the way around on both sides, take it in about a quarter of an inch so we can hide those tears. And we'll try to clean the rest of it. And uh... all right, we've got the bag turned inside out. And now we're gonna stitch it all the way around. Maybe that's 
that's not a good angle there. How about here? All right, that's better. This thing is stiff as a board, man. It's PVC, vinyl. side out, close the lining, clean it up, and we're ready to go. Let's right, so I'm still getting questions asked of uh, where I am and where is my um, shop and how they can get in touch with me. When you're on the main page of Beto's Leatherworks right here on YouTube, you see right there about, if you click onto that, all the information comes up. My shop name, address, phone number, email address, Instagram, Facebook, whatever you like. And if you want to ship something in, please do not ship it in without any paperwork. Right here in the corner right, you'll see shipping form. What you do is you fill this out and you send it with your item. Once I receive your item, I'll give you a call. We can talk about the details. All right, let's continue. All right, welcome back. We are done with these projects. Alan Edmonds. Now this one here, which one was it? The left shoe. The stitch came off the channel a little bit. The welt was pretty narrow right there. I didn't want to unstitch it and take a chance at restitching it again. It'll be okay. I don't, it's not 100% my preference, but sometimes you got to do the best you can and that's it. These are Lokes, okay, England, uh, made in England. Now these turn out okay, I like them. Very rugged. Customer wanted them like um, White's Boots or what was the other company? 
I can't think of the other company, where it's got a, I think this is called a logger heel, if I'm not mistaken, that curved uh, shape. Not really sure, I'm not really a boot expert. This is the Vibram 100 sole. And then we've got the boots, full soles and heels, put the metal tip and the back tip back on, clean condition them up. And last but not least, we stitched the corners of the bag and then cleaned it up as best as I could. I mean, there's still a lot of spots on there, but you know, this is the best I could do on this type of material. All right, well, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. And thank you guys for, for sending me your items, giving me a chance to fix them. Um, I appreciate it. Um, without you guys, you know, my channel wouldn't be anything. And, uh, and I appreciate that. So, if you have any questions, give me an email. Why do I say that? Give me an email. Send me an email, bedos at yahoo.com, B-E-D-O-S at yahoo.com. I gotta take a deep breath and calm down. Oh, um, is that what they say? Anyway, bedos at yahoo.com, and, uh, and I'll do my best to get to the emails as soon as I can. All right, and uh, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, comment. I greatly appreciate it all. Okay, we'll see you guys again on the next project. Take care.